Hey guys, now we're back with another yellow skin dragon fruit. Sorry, this is my first fruit and it's a little small size. <laughs> Apollo. <laughs> yellow is dragon that, fruit. Is that Apollo from Australia? Gold. Mm, this one I collected from Three Lucky Mountain. Oh. Um, about like two years and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been sharing, so my plan is keeping small. <laughs> <laughs> so finally, I get one fruit to try. And somehow small because late season. Um, this a little different than the Thai Golden and Isis. Just for the color. Sometimes the color change, but as the black and the color, I grow three of them, so I know the differences. This one a little bit less yellow compared to the other one, mm -hmm. and the black is not sticking out. Instead, it's a little bit close to the skin, and uh, um, I will say that let's try and see the texture, the test to see if it's the same or it's different. I don't want to wait because I know that is more. Five ounce. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit more than that though. One fifty nine grams. So yeah, six ounce. <laughs> Five and a half. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. Oh my god. Ta -da -da -da. So it's. Juicy. Yeah, it looks like it's not fully. You know, like. It didn't go to the full potential. Yeah. Uh, it's possible. I mean, it's the first food and it's small like this. Um, thank you, thank you. Yeah, and let's see. Here we go. Wow. What's that? That? Mmm! It's firm. And I like the texture of this one. It's better than the... The texture is better than the um, the Thai golden. I don't know if the Thai golden we taste was... It was just too soft. It was mm -hmm. good, but it was too yeah. soft. Mm -hmm. I, the one thing I hated the Thai golden was too soft. Mm -hmm. The one thing... the What I love about the ices was more balanced in terms of texture, sweetness, and acid. This one is totally different. Yeah, this, this one is so just sweet. sweet. <laughs> <laughs> this one's so sweet, like a halal sweet with the small seeds. If you if you think about like a yellow dragon fruit, a yellow undated like this, which people said, oh, the uh, the uh, the Israel Israeli yellow, like mm. most people complain about being bland. Mm -hmm. No, this is not the same. This is sweet. Yeah, it's so it's, sweet. Let me see the bricks going. And it doesn't there. have like acid. <laughs> Yeah, it's a one-dimensional sweet, like a palara sweet, <laughs> but you know, like um, uh, uh, a northern yellow. But it's very clean taste, very clean sweetness. I don't know if I get the juice out correctly. 18.4. Yeah, sweet. And the texture is so firm, it's mm -hmm. definitely, it's not like a Thai golden, yeah, it's no, not the ices, yeah. Yeah. because the yeah, ices, even though we leave a little too hard, yeah. The end we try the second fruit is still kind of have tangy in there. Mm -hmm. This one totally sweet from yeah. texture. I think this is the alternative to the Pelora mm -hmm. because it's just like one dimensional sweet, but not quite as sweet as Pelora, right? Yeah. But the thing is, when you eat the two, you, I don't think you can like really notice that that much difference. The other one is just over, overpowering, overwhelmingly sweet. And this one is just very sweet by itself. Yeah, and it's a Fresh, clean, sweet. Yeah, I actually prefer the like this kind of sweet. The skin is thin, but actually when you feel it, it's still a little on the thick side. Like it's yeah. a little bit thicker than the Vietnamese white. I think it's um, thicker than the Isis and uh, Golden Gold or the uh, Thai Gold. So this one is Apollo. It's spelled as A-P-O-L-L-O. -L -L -O. I don't know, I get collected. I mean, it's like Rocky Mountain. Yeah, I got it from Tulika Mountain. So I don't know if he changed the name because I don't think that he still have it or he probably kept it and he don't sell it or he renamed it. I don't know, but I got his as Apollo. So I keep the same name as Apollo because they are different to me. The test, the texture, oh, the yeah. size, the fruit. And, Definitely different. Uh-huh. So to me, it's different. Next year, I will try to get all fruit together at the same time so we can test and compare each other. I grow them in the same pot. So they, they're probably bigger too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think this fruit probably have potential to be much larger than this. Um, yeah, I mean, I think like if you're looking for one dimensional, just like sugar kind of tasting fruit, this one is. Yeah, I think my kid gonna like this one. <laughs> what was the other one that we tasted? Mm. I think was... Um, the texture is so firm though. There was a white crystal that we tasted recently. Mm -hmm. That one was more soft though, but that one was also one dimensional sweet. I think I like this one better. 
Mm, like you like this texture, one more than the white crystal? Better, yeah, because mm -hmm. this one has a better texture. Mm -hmm. The texture is not just firm, but they have mm -hmm. a little bit kind of like they uh, slightly chewy. Not like chewy, but you actually feel the bouncing. When you bite it out, you feel like it bouncing back. Yeah, this, this one surprises mm -hmm. me because I wasn't expecting like to be sweet like this. Uh, that's a pleasantly surprise. Mm -hmm. And this one, you have to cross pollinate to get the fruit. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I think that I cross pollinated mm -hmm. late because I, oh my god it's bloom in the morning it's kind of you know almost over but it's just okay let's try to you know pollinate it and it takes like at least about like 24 hours after the blooms all right so that's pretty surprising for the Apollo gold mm -hmm. thank you and have a nice day